South America is home to one of the most spectacular places in the entire world, the Amazon Rainforest. This place is so big and full of mysteries, but it's truly an amazing landscape that is worth exploring. And since it's a rainforest, you can expect a lot of extreme and unexpected things to happen in this place. In today's video, we'll be looking at 15 bizarre discoveries in the Amazon. Our first entry is Haladira. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the rainforest is full of mysterious creatures. In fact, one of the most popular inhabitants of the Amazon River is the pink dolphin. That is why biologist Jeremy Wade set on an adventure to take pictures of this unique creature. But what he found in 1993 was another creature called the Holodera. While it certainly looks like a pink dolphin, the Holodera is known for the notches along its dorsal fin that resembled the appearance of the teeth of a saw. Jeremy Wade photographed the creature not once, but twice. However, when he asked the locals about it, they said they had never seen or heard of such an animal like the one he had described. Our next entry is the Bullet Ant. The most annoying ant you could ever meet in the Amazon rainforest, and of course the most painful as well. As opposed to other ants, this one likes to be solitary. And while it isn't clear why people call it the Bullet Ant, there are two possible theories to explain the origin of its name. One is that the Bullet Ant is literally the size of a bullet. And the other one is that the pain caused by this ant is as bad as the one caused by a bullet. The pain can last up to 24 hours and it's painful and intense throughout all of that time frame. Our next entry is a boiling river. Deep in the forest, there's a place that used to be considered a myth, an illusion that was hard to perceive as a real place. But the boiling river is in fact real. It's just that not many people have been lucky enough to visit it. It is said that the Boiling River was created by a serpent spirit called Yakumama, and the water can be as hot as 200 degrees Fahrenheit. They say that touching the mud around this river can easily give you third degree burns, so I don't want to imagine what would happen if someone were to swim in those waters. I suppose I don't have to worry though, because not many people are allowed to explore this place. This is because the Mayan Tuyaka people consider it a sacred healing place. Our next entry is Possessed Ants. There's a kind of fungus found in the Amazon that makes ants act as if they're possessed. It all starts when the ants find spores of these fungi or when they're coated with them while the spores are flying through the air. As a result, the ants are pretty much controlled by the fungus to go around and eat leaves. That's why I say it's almost as if they were possessed by some dark being. After a while, the ant dies in a place that's convenient for the fungus to grow and keep reproducing itself. Pretty creepy, isn't it? Especially when you find out that this is one of the inspirations for The Last of Us clickers. Our next entry is the Silkhenge Spider. This Silkhenge is a very strange and awesome phenomenon, but we still don't know what kind of spider creates it. This term came to life when a Reddit user found one of these silky structures under a tarpaulin. When he asked other users for help to identify the spider causing this, no one could really give him an answer. This was because up until then, no one knew about the Silkhenges. Apparently, these structures are used to keep eggs and baby ants protected from ants, but we still don't know the author of this masterpiece. Our next entry is Plastic Eating Fungus. We don't have to be renowned scientists to know that plastic is a non-edible item. However, apparently, there is a living being that is capable of eating plastic without suffering damaging consequences. It's a fungus in the Amazons, and its existence can help solve the problem with plastic in the ocean and in many ecosystems around the world. The fungi can grow and survive without oxygen and can help us make the Earth a cleaner place. Let's hope that more research is done so this amazing discovery can improve our surroundings. Our next entry is Kupauku. If you love chocolate, then you love cacao, the plant that produces chocolate. And if you love that, then I'm sure you're gonna love Kupauku. The plant is very similar to cacao and it grows in the depths of the Amazon rainforest. The fruit can be used to make ice cream, juices, yogurts, and many other things. It's a very good substitute for chocolate. In fact, Brazilians use cupacu to make cupolate, a product that is very similar to chocolate. But what makes cupolate so special is the fact that it's more resistant to heat compared to chocolate. Our next entry is the Poison Dart Frogs. These dart frogs are beautiful. I mean, just look at their colors. But of course, according to National Geographic, these are some of the most toxic animals around the world. In fact, their striking colors are a warning for us and other living beings to stay away from them. It is said that the poison of one of these small frogs can easily kill to 10 adults. The name Poison Dart comes from the old tradition in which indigenous people use the poison on their darts whenever they went hunting. They can be black, red, yellow, green, copper, black, and blue, depending on the habitat where you find them. Our next entry is the Leaf Mimic Katydid. 
These insects are related to grasshoppers, and what makes them so unique is their ability to blend in with their surroundings. They are known for their clever camouflage that makes it almost impossible for untrained eyes to distinguish them from leaves. People call them katydids because that's what they sound like. You can actually even hear the katydid noise whenever you're near them, and apparently the frequency of their sound can help you measure the temperature at the place where they are. Our next entry is Jabutacaba. Jabutacaba is another name for the Brazilian grape tree, a very odd tree that is common in this part of South America. What makes this tree so weird is the fact that its fruits grow in a very invasive way, by draining the main tree from all of its power. The fruit tastes like a grape and it can be eaten raw, or it can be used to make jam, juice, and even wine. Our next entry is Dark Forest Floor. One of the most impressive things about the Amazon rainforest is the little amount of light that touches the ground. With so many thick trees, there's only about 1% of the light that makes it through, and when water falls down it takes about 10 minutes for it to reach the ground. So don't be surprised when you see footage of this rainforest and it looks dark. It's just that light is very limited within the actual forest, and that's why most of it looks dark. Also that includes the floor, again. Our next entry is the Rafflesia Flower. Hands down, the biggest flower on the planet is the Rafflesia flower, and you can find it in the Amazon forest. Not only is it big, but it's also lacking roots, stems, and leaves. This plant is very unique, and you can tell you're near one as soon as you identify its peculiar smell, which is very similar to that of rotten meat. While this plant sounds a bit scary and mostly gross, it plays an important role in keeping the environment balanced. Unfortunately, it's also on the verge of extinction, so we better take some action to make sure we get to keep the Rafflesia for a while. Our next entry is the Walking Palm. Who said trees can't walk? Whoever said that hasn't seen a Casafona tree yet. Believe it or not, these trees actually can walk. It might not look like these scary trees in Lord of the Rings, but these trees can move spots after some time. This is because their roots grow towards the sunlight, and in the process of replacing the old roots, they manage to move from their original spot. It's probably not a good idea to sit and wait for them to move, as it might take them a very long time to accomplish that. But what you can do to prove that they move is to take some pictures throughout different years. This will allow you to witness the changes and see how far they've moved in a given time frame. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Now, the picture I chose for the day shows a group of people around what seems to be the biggest anaconda ever found. But internet sources tell us that the image has been manipulated and the information that came with it was not even accurate. The description mentioned something about a huge snake that had killed thousands of people in the African Amazon River. Just by reading that, you can tell that the information is fake because the Amazon River is not in Africa, it's in South America. Also, I highly doubt one snake killed <laughs> thousands of people. However, the largest snake in the world does live in the Amazon. That much is true. And of course, while it's not as big as the one in the picture, it's still a threatening creature. Let's check it out with the green anaconda. This reptile is also known as the giant anaconda or the common water boa. It is a non-venomous snake, but it's the type of creature you probably want to stay away from. It is the heaviest snake in the world, and it can reach a length of around 17 feet, which is a bit more than 5 meters. That's way bigger than a human being, mind you. And you can find this snake in many parts of the American continent, but mostly within the Amazon rainforest. There haven't been many reports of anacondas attacking people, but we shouldn't take their abilities for granted. It's said that they can easily take down big prey, such as jaguars, so I'm not so sure humans can be that safe around them. One thing is for sure, though. These snakes are nocturnal and spend most of their time in or around the water. This means you'll probably be quite far from them whenever you actually decide to visit the Amazon. But of course, always be careful. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our last entry is the Amazon Rings. We finished this list with a series of large earthen rings that were discovered by researchers in the Amazon jungle of Bolivia and Brazil. What's impressive and quite odd about the rings is the fact that they apparently came into existence before the Amazon rainforest itself. But up until today, no one really knows what the original purpose of these rings were. They likely have a connection to ancient civilizations, but still, it's common knowledge that ancient people didn't like to mess up their natural resources. They liked to use nature as it was without significant transformation. That's why it's a bit odd to think that they could have made these rings. 
Maybe one day, these rings will help us uncover more mysteries about the origins of the rainforest, and more importantly, the origins of our world. The Amazon rainforest is indeed a bizarre and mysterious place that I'd love to visit someday. Which of these things scared you? And which ones made you excited about visiting the Amazons? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.